So, good news. The dumpster is gone. That's where it was. So, uh, the dumpster guy came and took it this morning. I know we're gonna have more shingles to get rid of, but that's not a big deal. We'll throw them in the trash. Um, we're just glad to get that mess out of here. Yep. And um, the sun is shining brightly today. Next three days are gonna be sh shady, uh, cloudy. So I don't know if we're gonna do roofing today or wait till tomorrow. But if Ash the clouds come over, we can. Yeah. But Ashley just spotted a bird. Yeah. In our in our um, pit. hole that we dug along the foundation. So let's go check it out. I think there's something wrong with its wing. Well, let's see what we can do. It should have went quick, but I was afraid of stressing it out. We caught it! It's biting me. It's okay, little bird, let's check you out. So let's see what we have to work with here. I'll name it Fluffy. Maverick, that's a little bird. Yeah. Now I'll name it Cherry. All right. So Is this Sparrow? Yeah. If your wings are okay, what's the matter? It's probably a baby. It's got a lot. It's got a lot of fight in it. Well, I don't see anything wrong with it, so I don't know why it's not flying. It probably twisted its foot. So what do we do with it? Let it go. Don't let it go. At least it's out of the pit. Maybe it's just young. Could be. <laughs> the cats will eat it. There, found a good hiding spot. We decided to take a break from the seat from the roof and we're working on this third bedroom that nobody uses. Uh, we're starting with the ceiling, which is pretty disgusting. This is the old attic door. We sealed that, uh, that up. The, the old electrical box isn't uh, used anymore. The wires are cut. You can see the ceiling is ugly. It's got stains on it. Show this big stain. This is an old stain that was here when we moved in. Um, we want to cover this up. We're not going to tear it down. There's no point in that. The rest of the house, we did tongue and groove boards, and that's what we're going to be doing in here. So uh, we just line these up. Uh, we put a chalk line on the ceiling where all the ceiling joists are, and we're going to be putting furring strips up, and then tongue and groove. We got our chalk lines done, but I'm going to show you um, how we found the joists in the ceiling. Um, since it has this popcorn ceiling stuff, I couldn't see the screws. And we wanted to locate the screws. If you find the screws, then you found the joist. So I used Ashley's pin pointer. <laughs> yeah. And I just searched around on the ceiling. And there's a screw. Yep. And there's a screw. And that's what I did is just went around. You can find there's a screw. So we used the pin pointer to find the <laughs> screws so we could go ahead and mark these out. So that's cool. That way we know we're in line with the, the ceiling joist. So we'll try to use this wood up and hopefully not have to buy too much more, if any at all. We'll see. I got three pieces of, I don't know what these are, maybe 10, 12 feet, I don't know. 10 feet, probably 10 feet. And these look like eight feet. And Belle's got some six footers. 
going okay. I ran out of wood. I need five more pieces. One for here, and then two, two. So we're going to run to Menards, grab some wood. And get the tongue and groove. Yeah, we'll see what they have. Ashley's over there weeding along the garage. And I got home from the store. And I got some wood. I got the ceiling furring strips, but they were all out of tongue and groove boards. So another plan has to be postponed for now. I don't know what I'm going to be working on. I'll finish up the ceiling and then, I don't know, we'll, we'll decide. I hate when they're out of stuff. We are down at the creek today and we're going to be looking for some treasures, seeing what we can find. Uh, we've found some marbles and things like that in the past. We're hoping we can find some more today. Yeah, um, the, the water is nice and low. You can see the water, yep, has dropped super far down, more than it has in a while, so we thought it'd be a good day to come down and check it out. Yeah. So, let's get exploring. Refreshing. Scabbery. <laughs> so that I can come with you too. We're not super competitive, but it's always fun to see who's going to find the first marble or the first cool thing. So we're all diligently looking, trying to spot something. Marbles are the objective today. That's what we really like to find is the old marbles. There's some kind of cool stuff down here, but nothing too great. I just spotted this old uh, drawer pull part. Over here you can see there's a buckle. I actually just pulled a wheel out and threw it out of the creek. All kinds of little things if you really look. Just metal stuff. There's a little button. Found a button. It's like a shiny kind. That's neat. Looks oh like gosh. Ashley found something interesting in here. It's like a metal mold. That's cool. I feel like I remember something like this from like a Dr. Dreadful kit. Like from ages ago. Yeah. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Neat. And hold that. And I found this really cool piece of glass. This isn't as exciting, but it's white and it's got like a marble type swirl in there. It's hard to see. It looks really cool in person. And um, it's got a really smooth bottom on it. The reason there's a lot of glass down here is because this is a lot of fill uh, dumped here ages ago from an old glass factory. And that's why we look for marbles. Basically the whole city has like this fill everywhere, like our yard and like all the parks we go to yeah it's everywhere i found something cool over here too and let's see if i can find it i was looking for that spot and i just found something else this is kind of neat it doesn't look very old but who knows it could be it's got some weight to it Looks like maybe a little acorn, or I mean, uh, pine cone. With some leaves, or it's pretty neat. Yeah, I just spotted something really cool when Ashley called me over. I don't remember where I was standing. Let's see. Here it is. Just spotted it again. Look at that. I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, that's cool. Really cool. I can't wait to clean that off. Little old car. Let's keep looking. You can see the glass. There's the glass. Just big chunks of random glass down here. This is all glass slag. Looks like I just found something else interesting. Looks like a little part of something. Um, has two hearts hooked together. Wonder if there's anything on it. Oh, I just broke it. 
This is so fragile. I just broke the clip right off the side of it. I'm trying to rub it off. Like a flat, messed up defect marble. Wow. <laughs> well, I guess you technically found the first marble. Yep. Cool. I just found a plate. It was, it was like this in the water. It says Walker, China, vitrified Bedford, Ohio. A little dirty. There's a porcelain doorknob that Ashley also found. What's that? I don't know. Some little probably kid toy badge thing. It says Lester B. Benlet Jr. Good luck. Cool. And two more of these. What are they? I think they go like to a jar. Um, on the jar. This one says ball. Mason jars on it. Oh, that's interesting. Like glass lids for the mason jar? Yeah. That's neat. I don't know. They did so make. that's three now of these. Cool. Guys, still no marbles, but I just spotted this. It looks like a penny. Let's see. What is it? I can't make it out. It's in rough shape. We'll have to clean this off further and investigate it. I can't tell what that is. I didn't touch it yet, but I see it. Um, looks like a wheat back. Well, it's hard to say, but it, it is a penny. We were just about to leave. We gave up and I said, oh, we can't leave without finding one. I'm serious. We're not making this up. And I look down and I see this. That is so cool. Let's dig it out. Oh, that's a cool one too. Wow. It's not perfect. It's a little flat. These are defects most likely. That's why they got dumped here. That's Cool, I love that one. So we all had a pretty good time searching the water down here. We were hoping to find more marbles. This is all we found though. I guess we found them all a few years ago. I'll have to show those at some point. So I found these four glass jar lid things. Some cool bottles. This one's really cool with the clovers in it. Porcelain handle porcelain handle, whatever that is, this thing, all these little trinkets and coins. Doug found this cool thing. Pendant, wheat penny, dime, and another penny. The plate, somebody's name badge, horseshoe, I don't know what that's doing down here. That's weird cute little green bottle. This thing. I think this is from Dr. Dreadful, if anybody remembers that. And this little car. This little puff thing. And I don't know what this is. Melted aluminum.
So we're going to head back up now. Hope you enjoyed that hunt.